Some gruesome new details tonight about the funeral home in Southern Colorado, where investigators say nearly 200 bodies were found improperly stored. And one of the owners of Return to Nature Funeral Home, Carrie Halford, was in court today for a preliminary hearing. Carrie and her husband, John, face more than 250 felony charges, including abuse of a corpse. The investigation started in Penrose in October after reports of a horrific odor. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon was in the courtroom today and saw pictures of the inside of the funeral home that haven't been released to the public yet. This just brought all the grief back. New details learned inside the El Paso County Courthouse. Like how can you make sense of it? Left many, like Lisa Osley, reeling. I'm numb, but I'm furious. I'm all the things. Her father, Bruce, died at 81 years old. He was just a very special man, and... Uh, they don't make them like that anymore. Lisa says she used Return to Nature Funeral Home in Southern Colorado. They had his body for 10 months, and it should have been dust. And they just had it oozing all over everything else. It's just disgusting. Thursday was the preliminary hearing for one of the owners of the funeral home, Carrie Halford, who's charged with improperly storing nearly 200 bodies. Prosecutors showed pictures from inside the funeral home while a search warrant was executed. Investigators say they found adults, infants, and fetuses stacked on top of each other, some wrapped in plastic bags with duct tape, others wrapped in nothing at all. The floors were stained with decomposition fluids and there were insects everywhere. I'm trying to make sense of what kind of a person could do this? Those with the FBI say it was around 70 degrees inside of the funeral home when investigators went inside and that the makeshift refrigeration units were not working. Records apparently show a Home Depot account connected to the couple that bought roughly a ton of quick mix concrete, bags of which were found throughout the funeral home. He didn't have ashes to ashes. He didn't have dust to dust. You know, I got this box of I don't know what. I had to give it to the FBI. They haven't told me what's in it, but I expect it's quick creep. Details. Hard to hear. I owe it to my dad. But details Lisa needs to know. To see every everything that I can see, to know and try to understand what happened to him. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. Such a nightmare. Time ran out during the hearing, so defense attorneys and prosecutors will have their final arguments next week. John's preliminary hearing is scheduled for early February. Return to Nature Funeral Home will be demolished next Wednesday.